to Tech Like Video Tutorials. This session I am going to explain about uh, instead of trigger. Uh, we previous session we have already covered on other triggers like DML triggers and total triggers types and uh, how to use uh, uh, conditional predicates in uh, triggers. So this session I am going to explain about majorly on instead of trigger. So if you are looking at instead of trigger means if you have a views uh, which have a multiple tables uh, query like if you have a primary key and foreign key relationship tables mainly look at foreign key and primary key relationship tables so normally complex views means whenever you if you are doing a dml operations on your view if it is not accepting that dml operation it is nothing but complex view but there are two types in if that view contains that view query contains any group by or order by okay you can't update that view but this type of scenarios this type of scenarios same thing if you have a view with the primary key and foreign key relationship tables primary key and foreign key relationship tables if you are trying to insert a record on that it will throw error because of that dependency master and child parent and child key dependency that time we can go for instead of trigger so let's look at this examples i have a two tables employee and department so employee table you can see here is a primary key here and the foreign key is a department uh, id here you can see and uh, again here master table is a department table this primary key first we have to insert that primary key we have to insert here foreign key here you can see a reference keyword reference keyword is nothing but your foreign key so i'm creating a view here you can see here employee department v with a combination of both tables join id department id okay then when i'm trying to insert record here it is throwing error called cannot modify a column with the maps to the non key preserve table so you can't insert a record here because of this parent and child a relationship so directly you can't insert here because when you are inserting your if you are trying to insert child table that primary key id should be existing master table right but at the same time if you are inserting you can't insert so that's the reason we need to go for instead of trigger let's see the example here here i am going to create a trigger called instead of trigger instead of means instead of insert on this view do this operations below operations below operations means instead of trigger means first we will insert department table here you can see the example instead of trigger so normally we we used to create records on table on dml operations like before insert or after insert before update or after update before delete or after delete but here what we are doing instead of insert instead of insert we are doing this operation instead of insert on this view we are doing below operations so that operations means so before that i have declared one uh, exception here like if you are trying to insert a duplicate record it will throw error that we are i'm doing here let's look at this example so inside trigger what we are doing first we are inserting into department table that is a primary table second we are inserting into child table that is a relationship with the master table that is a department table why because so first we will insert here we have a primary key here so you can insert into second table that primary key here we can use a reference that is department id okay that is department id so you won't get any issues so while inserting into this view we are not inserting this view instead of this view go to insert these two tables that main trigger intention is instead of this insert on this table that is view don't insert in this view directly insert into your major tables which you are using inside that query which you are using inside that query that is nothing but instead of trigger so here i have exception here i have raised if you are inserting duplicate records now i am going to create this trigger trigger has been compiled now you can clear the log here now trigger has been compiled now if you try to insert record here now you can see it is saying that duplicate employees are exist because that views already having some data let's look at this
is showing term error maybe one up table is having the data see here this table is already having some data that's why it is throwing duplicate error so we have to uh, delete the both tables data now because one table is already uh, deleted delete from departments now you can see uh, data has been deleted in both table because if you have any record already exists so it, it will throw error definitely so that's the reason I have created this trigger with duplicate error so now I have inserted one record again I have inserted a second record now you can see here this view you can see two records if I if you try to insert again duplicate records here with ID 2 it will throw error because duplicate record duplicate employee or department ID is exist that is that is the uh, error message you, you can see here already we have mentioned like this we can go for creating instead of trigger for updating complex views for updating complex views so what is instead of trigger means instead of that view update instead of that view insert into this below two tables that two tables insert query we have to provide exactly what you are exactly looking for this so whatever you are inserting in that view those columns you have to mention here that is called you can see qualifiers colon new colon new means insert while doing insert we have to mention colon new so whatever the column names here have mentioned those should be exist in your view those should be exist in your view if one column is not available so you can't insert that here because those values we are taking from view insert query we are taking from this view insert query these are all the columns here you can see here these all the columns should exist in this query like this we can go for updating complex views using instead of trigger so thank you for watching my videos please subscribe my channel to get more videos and updates my channel thank you very much